Okay, this is a 2016 Ram Eco Diesel. This was a uh, customer is driving and the vehicle just stalled out, coasted to the side of the road. Um, anyway, luckily there was a trouble code for a crankshaft sensor. Um, I've come across this before. You may or may not get that trouble code, but uh, you can on your scan tool, you know, graph it out, watch the graph, watch the signal from the crankshaft sensor, and it should be a very steady signal. If you see a periodic dip, then there's a good chance that uh, the reluctor ring for the crankshaft sensor is faulty. Um, so I've got this on the lift. You know, you gotta take out the uh, transmission and transfer case out. Um, for what it's worth, I obviously I'm on a lift right now, but I have done this job on the ground. Um, it's a big job. Uh, in the case of this truck, the de it is, you know, it's deleted. It doesn't have a duff tank. So it was no problem to slide the transmission and transfer case out as one assembly. But if you have the duff tank in place, you could take it out. But uh, if you decide to keep it in place, you just got to, you know, disassemble the transfer case from the transmission, set it aside, then take out the transmission. Um, but again, it's possible to do this on the ground. It's a bear of a job, but I, I've done it personally and it can't be done. Um, and the root cause, and I've done uh, a few of these now, but you can see right where it's missing a chunk of the magnetic material for that reluctor ring. So Chrysler or the engineers, the Italian engineers who made this engine decided instead of a reluctor wheel, you know, an actual machine or cast aluminum toothed wheel, you know, to use a magnetic strip. And a lot of manufacturers are doing this to save cost. Um, ridiculous that it's between the engine and transmission. I mean, there is absolutely no reason why this can't be on the front by the harmonic balancer. There is so much real estate up front. It's just, there is absolutely no reason for this. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Real common fault with the early eco diesels. I don't know if it really affects. I've done this on uh 2014 to 2016 eco diesels. Um, I'm not sure if the newer ones are affected by this or not but absolutely ridiculous. So, um, trying to think what other uh, tips or tricks. The, uh, you know, both drive shafts have to come out. There's obviously, that's the flange for the front drive shaft. Um, the starter has to come out. Not really too big a deal there. Um, in the grand scheme of things, the starter is pretty serviceable on this. Um, you get access to the, there's a total of six. Okay, so here's the transmission. You can see six torque converter to flex plate bolts. Um, so you have to access that through the starter hole in the block. Um, a little tricky to do, but definitely can be done. I think they're 13 millimeter and you need, there's six of them. Um, yeah, aside from that, what else can I say? This is also an alternative way to service the turbocharger. Um, Cause once these turbos start leaking, or they need a replacement, you either have to lift the cab off the truck or you could take out the transmission like what I've done now. So that uh, was up to you on that. Uh, let's see, what else can I... Obviously this truck has been deleted, so it makes it a lot easier to service. Normally you'd have a, uh, you know, the catalytic converter or the DPF system here, which leaves you with less room. So you'd have to remove that too to get access to all this stuff. Oh, what else? Um, yeah, no duff tank on this. So that makes it a little easier. Aside from that, not much else to say. Um, oh, the uh, front drive shaft. You know, it slides onto uh, the stub here in the transfer case. Um, what you have to do is uh, disconnect, you know, take the clamp off of here, the stainless clamp, undo that, and then just slide the yoke off that spline shaft. Um, transmission cooler. I've got it still hanging up here, suspended. Um, you just undo three bolts. They're 10 millimeter head bolts. <clears throat> that hold it to the side of the transmission. Um, pretty much almost no fluid comes out of the transmission. 
the uh, transmission cooler will start uh, seeping out transmission fluid, but right here you can see I put a, uh, a pl uh, rubber plug here, a silicone plug in place to keep it from coming out. Um, let's see, what else? Obviously when you're doing this job, uh, the electric ring and the crankshaft sensor, just replace them both. Um, I haven't tried any aftermarket. Certainly the Relector ring is, you know, Chrysler only or Mopar only. Uh, crankshaft sensor, they do make a few um, aftermarket ones. I've never tried any of them. Um, I just get, you know, OEM, Chrysler, crank sensor and uh, Relector ring. Um, what else? Yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't think I really have too many other tips for you. Pretty straightforward. I mean, there's an electrical harness to undo. But otherwise, so bottom line, if you're lucky enough and the truck is deleted like this one is, makes it a lot easier. Um, if you have a completely stock truck, like most of them are, um, a little tricky. Again, your def tank is going to be in the way. You know, if you decide to keep the transmission and transfer case together, to slide it back, you have to take out that def tank or remove the transfer case off the transmission first. Um, getting access to bolts on the side is definitely tricky with a DPF system in place. I'd, on a stock truck, you would have to really remove that stuff to get it out of the way. Um, yeah, that's about it. But I hope uh, these things have been uh, are helpful to somebody. So if it is, uh, please uh, like the video if you would. It helps me out a lot. All right. Thanks.